the world continues to choose to do exactly the opposite of what Yahweh God says to do. They choose to do what it is that he says not to do. For instance, when the people chose to build a tower, instead of not doing that, they chose to build a tower to reach the heavens where Yahweh was. When they did not need to do this because Yahweh was there and they did not need to reach his domain because he never said to do that. He would come down to his people. He would be with his people. He was everywhere with his people. Matter of fact, his people were him and he was in the people. Now understand this. They also chose to do the complete opposite of what he said to do with situations such as this. When his people had a true king in their presence, which was Yahweh, Yeshua, they did not want that. And how is that? Well, they wanted to be just like the people that weren't following Yahweh were. They wanted to have and do exactly what they did. They had a king, the opposite people. So the Israelites chose upon themselves to have a king, make a king. And who was that? Well, we know we're led down to eventually to King David. But the situation was this. Why would they need another king and to be like the people that they were not supposed to be like and want what they had when they had Yahweh there with them? See, they wanted the opposite of what Yahweh was giving them. Another example is this. They chose amongst themselves to build the golden calf. Now, Yahweh told them not to have any idols, not to make any objects or worship these things. And what did they do? They completely did the opposite. Yahweh said, a Akkad, there is only one God, Him, like the Shema. And they chose to do the opposite of keeping the one God, which is Him, the true God. And they wanted to go make an idol, an object to worship, instead of Yahweh, the true master. They turned away from Him again. Another situation to follow. Let's look at the present time as we are in right now. Well, let me rewind that a little bit. He told him not to make an object or not to make an idol or carve any type of image. Now, what does this turn into with the world today? Exactly. The Temple Mount. People go over there and they worship this. They even worship the wall that remains there. And what is this? Yahweh told us not to idolize or worship anything. And the Jewish people, Christians, everyone out there just continues to go and pray to these walls. Pray to this temple mount and do exactly what Yahweh said not to do. He said don't make an object, don't make an idol. And that's what they're doing. They're idolizing this building instead of the Creator. And remember what Yeshua said, not one stone will remain. But at the same time, they're over there worshiping this object. And we look at it present day today with, for instance, the White House. People worship the White House. They go and they worship the president who is in the White House. Instead of worshiping Yahweh and giving him what is rightfully his, the praise and honor, they worship a man, which is the president, inside of another building, which is an object, the White House. And let's look at present day today with what Yahweh said not to do and what the world is doing. Well, we were told not to idolize, not to have idolatry. And what does the world do today? They choose to idolize. How so? Well, let's look at this with musicians, sports figures, and celebrities. They choose to idolize these characters and wear their jerseys, for instance, with their numbers, which is basically another idol. They want to be like these people, and Yahweh clearly told us not to idolize. And what do they do? They go and create idols which show such as American Idol. Do you see? Yahweh told us not to do these things, but the world continues to go and do exactly what Yahweh said not to do. And this is the way of the world today. And this is what needs to change. And this is why judgment will come. So it's time for those who have ears to hear, to hear this message and to repent of these ways, repent of the sinful ways. If there's something that you finally overcome, do not revert back to it. You are supposed to be a changed person at this point. You are with Yeshua if you accepted Him. So I ask you right now, if you need more help and guidance, please refer to 
followyeshuanow.com.